Hello everyone, today's video is on Jasper and he's going a bit crazy at the minute because I have some treats. These are just little fruit treats that I bought for a pound from Wilkinson's and Jasper's pretty addicted. He's climbing at me. Okay, get down. Come here. Alright, I'll give you a banana one. Banana one. Hey, come down here. Come down here. Down here. No, down. Get off my knee. Get off my knee. Right, up. Good boy. Good boy. You get one later. I'm not giving you too many. So I only give them about two or three a day. They're, they're alright for them. I also give them a piece of carrot. Dito, yummy. Right, get down now. So yeah, this is Jasper, my little Dutch bunny. Well, one of them, because I have two Dutch rabbits. And he will be two in... October or is it August? It's either August or October. Again with Jasper I just celebrate the day I got him. So that is the 14th of January and I don't really celebrate the birthdays although I do give him a treat usually. I'll just have to check the calendar dates for that. And he's following me now. Come here. Come up here. Come on. Jasper is really really friendly. And he is the most active rabbit. He's always moving and he cannot sit still. And that's why he has a special talent, which is this. That's right, he is my jumping bunny. He absolutely loves jumping. He'll do it all by himself. And he'll also do it on harness. So, harness and lead, so that's good. And you just want treats now. I will never ever force him to do it and he'll only do it if he wants to. Are you going to do it? Are you going to show everybody? Are you going to show everybody what you can do? I'll just set up a little jump here. And if he knocks it, oh, there you go. <laughs> if he knocks it, it will fall off. And that's important that if a rabbit knocks it, it should always fall off. See, See? that was just me knocking. Knocking it. So, yeah, it falls off. He can jump really high. His highest is 55 centimetres. And he can also jump over three feet in length. So he's really good. What are you doing eating that box? He is just so cheeky. So, so beautiful. Right, so his favourite thing to do is jumping. And if not jumping, I would say probably, yeah, just spending time with Tinkerbell and Mischief. So he lives with. Come here, cheeky bum. Come here. Hello. Sorry, I do call him a few weird names, but yeah, he's my pet and I love him. So yeah, I better tell you where I got him from. Oi! Sorry, just have to stop him from falling down the stairs. <laughs> he is actually my pet shop rabbit. I never really wanted to buy a rabbit from a pet shop because I don't want to support, like, bad trade or anything. But I just could not leave my local pet shop without him. I fell in love with him. I've just started licking my fingers through the mesh in his cage, which was tiny. And that pet shop usually just has guinea pigs there, so I was really shocked to see a rabbit. And when it was a rabbit that I fell in love with, I just couldn't leave him behind. So yeah, when I got him, he wasn't replaced with another rabbit, which was good. Just some guinea pigs went into his cage. And that was alright, because the cage was four foot, which is a great size for guinea pigs, but just way too small for rabbits. So he came to live with me, and I hoped to bond him with Mischief and Tinkerbell. He only bonded with Tinker, as Mischief hated him. But now, thankfully, after some hard work, they all live together and they're all really happy. So that's great. Um, he is neutered. Because, well, I think all rabbits should be neutered or stayed, depending on whether they're a boy or a girl. And he kind of loved me a little bit too much when he came. I'm not going to go into details because that's gross, but he had to get neutered and now he's just really, really cute. Aren't you? He's also vaccinated against VHD and myxomatosis. So yeah, I think he's happy. He looks in. He's been binking around a lot. Binking is just a really big jump that rabbits do when they're happy, if you didn't know that. But yeah, he's a really happy bunny. And his jumping has been very good to him. As you can see, he's really confident. He's not really a scaredy bun. <laughs> and his jumping have got him these. A champion rosette and a winner rosette. And he also won lots of treats for himself and food. 
because he has been to two competitions. Well, one was a display, really. He's fine with travelling, so that was fine for him. He just snuggles up in a carrier. And he doesn't mind crowds or anything. He absolutely loves people. So he just wants nose rubs of everybody he sees on meat. Come back up. So he's a very happy bunny. Crowds don't bother him. And he just jumps to show people how much he enjoys it. And to also promote rabbit welfare. To show that rabbits do need exercise. I must add not all rabbits enjoy jumping. Him and Blossom, my other Dutch rabbit, are my only two that do enjoy jumping. So it's really up to the personality of the rabbit really and whether they enjoy it. But Jasper does. And it's paid off, he wins himself treats and stuff. There you go. You enjoy that. He went to Honley Agricultural Show where he placed first in intermediate class. There's a beginners, an intermediate and an advanced. And I think he did really well, as soon as he'd only been training three months. And he has also done a display at my guides when I used to go. And he raised £30 for rabbits rescues, which I think was amazing. Oh, happy jump. So it's really good of him. He's been raising money for rescue centres. Come here. <laughs> and also, what else has he done? Oh yeah, he's just been in the Rabbit Grand National in the UK. And he did really well in that. He did a really good display, really loved it. And he showed the crowd that he jumped off lead. And he did it all by himself. And yeah, he really enjoyed it. I know some people are against rabbit jumping. And in ways I am. If it's cruel, because they should never be forced or anything. But, excuse my pyjamas and steps by the way. But if they are not forced, like Jasper, he isn't forced. And just do it on their own free will, then there is nothing wrong with it. And I would never take a scared rabbit or nervous rabbit to a show. I would only ever take ones that are confident, like Jasper. And as you can see, he is a very confident bunny. He's a very happy boy. So yeah, he, he has been involved in a few displays and competitions. And he's been promoting rabbit welfare and raising money for rescues. So I don't see anything wrong with it, really. He's just very good. Aren't you? And yeah, I would never, ever force him to do anything. Because he's my baby. <laughs> don't eat the box. <laughs> but yeah. He's my pet shop bunny that I fell in love with and I love him to bits and I hope you like him too. Thank you for watching.